As with any lifestyle change or physical exercise program, consult your physician before you begin your yoga practice. If you are pregnant, discuss your yoga practice with your yoga instructor. As your pregnancy progresses, you will need to modify or avoid certain poses. Move at your own pace and modify the poses as needed in order to maintain alignment and easy breathing in every pose. If you feel any discomfort, dizziness, or pain during your practice, either modify the pose so that you are comfortable or take a few moments to rest. It is very important that you listen to your body and practice yoga in the manner that is the safest and most comfortable for you. Namaste. Hello, I'm Andrea McDonald. This yoga flow is for sadness. You should do this flow anytime you feel just a lingering sadness in your body, in your mind. And you just want to sort of move forward, get past the sadness, and get on with the rest of your day. We'll begin in Sukhasana, easy pose, sitting with the legs crossed in front of the body, root the sit bones down into the ground, Bring a little bit of tightness to the low belly. Take a deep breath up into the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. Rest the palms on the knees. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, reach your right ear down to your right shoulder. Extend your left fingers out to the side to increase the stretch down the left-hand side of the neck. Breathe. Inhale, the head and hand come back to center. Exhale, lower your left ear down to your shoulder. Reach the right fingertips out to the side to increase the stretch down the right-hand side of the neck. Keep the breath flowing smoothly. Long, deep breaths. Inhale, head and hand come back to center. Interlock your fingers, making a basket for your head. Place it behind the round part of your skull and fold your elbows in. Take a deep breath in and exhaling. Gently drop the chin down to the chest. Keep the chest lifted and enjoy the stretch down the back of the neck and the upper spine. Try not to pull on your head. Just allow the natural weight of your arms to lengthen your neck. Inhale your head back to center. Exhale, reaching the arms overhead and let them float down to shoulder height. Tight the tummy muscles. Inhale, and as you exhale, twist over to the right, placing the left hand on the outside of the right knee, your right hand on the ground behind the body. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, twist, looking back behind you. Try not to lean back on your hand, keeping it close to the center of the body. Each inhale grows you taller. Each exhale twists you deeper. Tighten your tummy muscles. Inhaling, release the palms and float back to center. Exhaling, twist over to your left. The right hand on the outside of the left knee, left hand on the ground behind you. Breathe in and exhaling, twist back. Keep the head level and the jaw relaxed. Twist the eyes as far around as you can, stretching the eye muscles. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, lowering the palms down. Extend your legs out in front of you and give them a shake. Bring your palms back behind the body, fingertips pointing either towards the buttocks or away. Don't sink into your shoulders. 
Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, send the chest forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep your chin over your chest. Bring some strength into the kneecaps. Draw the toes up towards the head until your heels come off the floor. Keep taking deep breaths into the chest, expanding the heart center, strengthening the shoulder blades. Exhale, rounding the spine, bend the knees, and bring the torso forward, resting over your legs. Inhale, rounding yourself up, and swish your legs around, bringing yourself into cat pose. Palms underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, toes tucked underneath you, knees and feet are hip width apart. Take a deep breath in and exhale, round the spine, drawing the forehead towards the pubic bone, reach the shoulder blades up to the sky. Inhaling, tilt the tail back and up, drop the belly and low back, look up, relax your jaw. Exhale, squeeze the air out of your lungs. Draw the belly button to the spine. Inhale, look up. Continue with a few more cat breaths. Try to follow your own breath, moving only when the lungs ask to inhale or exhale. Return to neutral spine, tighten the tummy muscles, and inhaling, step the palms forward. Coming into the puppy stretch, reach your chest and forehead towards the ground. Try to keep your elbows off the ground as you extend and open the underarms and upper chest. Feel free to rest your forehead on the ground. Reach the fingertips forward and the tailbone back. Inhaling. Begin walking yourself back up to cat pose. Step the palms forward about one palm length. Make sure the toes are tucked under. Tighten the tummy muscles and inhaling, lift yourself into downward facing dog. Heels up, opening the toe joints. And then exhale, beginning to walk the dog, gently allowing one heel to rise as the other lowers. Keep this motion in the legs and not in the hips. Moving slowly, opening up the hamstrings. Heels up and exhale, heels reaching to the ground. Tummy is pulled in. Tailbone tilted back and up. Head and neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Fingers widespread. Tighten your tummy, inhale, and take a big step forward with your right foot. This is high lunge. If you like, you can drop your knee and flatten your back toes. Inhaling, bring the hands up to the thigh. Try to sink down in the pelvis, stretching out the hip flexor muscles. Make sure your front knee stays over your ankle. Toes are relaxed. If you like, inhale, extending the arms up overhead, and bringing the body into a slight back bend. Look up only if the neck is strong. Keep reaching the back heel for the ground and the back knee for the ceiling. Exhale, the palms come forward. Tighten the tummy muscles. You can lower the back knee and foot if this is easier. And then inhaling, sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep the knee drawn into the chest. Don't let it flop out to the side. Look up if the neck is strong or just straight ahead or down. Exhale, lowering the right arm back down to the ground. Tighten the tummy and inhale, bringing your right leg back into plank. You can lower your knees to the ground if that's easier.
Exhaling, bring your knees to the ground, flatten your toes, and gently bring yourself down onto your belly. Extend your arms out in front of you in a slight V, like Superman. Tighten your tummy muscles, inhale, and lift your arm, head, and chest up towards the ceiling. Send the breath into the back to quell the rocking motion in the front of the body. Try and keep the lower body relaxed. Exhale, lowering the arms, head, and chest down to the floor. Breathe. Tighten your tummy muscles, inhaling, once again lifting the arms, head, and chest off the ground. Come up only as high as it's comfortable for you. Exhaling. Lower the arms, head, and chest down to the ground and breathe. Tighten the tummy. Inhaling, lift arms, head, chest, and legs up as high as you can. Try to keep the feet close together. Send the breath into the back body. Reach with both toes and fingers. Exhale, lowering everything down and breathe. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders, tighten your tummy, and inhale, bringing yourself up into cat. Exhale, round the spine, reaching the shoulder blades up for the ceiling. Inhale, head and chest look up, tilt the tail back and up, drop the belly and low back, and then come back into neutral. Move your feet towards one another until the knees are almost touching. Tighten your tummy and inhale, extending the right leg back. Do not lift the hip out to the side. Keep the pelvis and hips level. You may prefer to keep the opposite toes flat or tucked under. When you feel balanced, extend the left hand out in front. Make sure the wrist is flat, fingers pointing forward. Keep the tummy tight for balance and try to gaze at one spot. Exhale, lowering the palm down and then the knee. Tighten your tummy, extend the palms forward and as you inhale, bring yourself up into downward facing dog. Reach the heels towards the floor. Keep the belly pulled in, reach the tail back and up. Tighten the tummy and inhaling, bring the left leg forward in a big step coming into high lunge. Remember you can drop the back knee and flatten the back toes to low lunge if this is easier.
Inhaling, bring the palms up to the thigh. Sink the pelvis down to open up the hips and stretch out the hip flexor muscle. Try not to lean on your leg. Arms are for balance. If you like, inhale, sending arms up towards the ceiling, coming into a slight back bend. Keep the back heel reaching towards the floor and the back knee reaching towards the sky. Exhaling, lower the palms down. Remember, you can lower your back leg if you need to. Tighten the tummy muscles and inhale, sweeping the left arm up towards the sky, following it with your gaze. Keep your left knee close to the center of your chest. Keep reaching the back heel away back knee up to the sky. Exhale, lowering the left palm down. Adjust your palms, tighten your tummy, and inhale, sending your left leg back, coming into plank. You can flatten your knees to the floor if that's easier. Keep the tummy tight in plank. Don't allow the low back to sag. Exhaling, soften the knees and bring them down to the ground, and then gently lower the belly down. Extend the arms by the sides of the body, the palms pressing to the thighs, thumbs to the ground and pinkies pointing up, chin is on the ground. Tighten the tummy muscles. Inhaling, lift the head, chest, and arms up. Try to keep the lower body relaxed. Reach the hands towards one another, tightening the shoulder blades. Send the breath into the back ribs. Exhale, lowering head, chest, and arms down. Breathe. Bend your knees, bringing your feet towards your buttocks. Reach behind you, grabbing the top of each foot. You may need to lift your chest off the ground to do this. Tighten the tummy muscles and inhaling, lift the head, chest, arms and legs up off the floor. Reach the feet away from the buttocks. Try to keep the knees close together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhaling, lower the head, chest, arms, and legs down to the ground. Release the feet and let them float back to the ground with control. Bring the palms under the shoulders, tighten the tummy muscles, and inhale, bring yourself back up into cat. Exhaling round the spine, sending the shoulders up to the sky. Inhaling, belly and low back drop, head and chest lift, jaws relax. Come back to neutral spine, move your knees towards one another, preparing for balance on the left side. Tighten the tummy and inhale, lifting the left leg back and up. Remember to keep the hips level. On your next inhale, extend the right arm out in front of the body. 
Keep the tummy tight. Exhaling, lower the palm to the ground and then the knee. Step your palms forward. Make sure the toes are tucked under and inhaling, lift yourself back into downward facing dog. Soften the knees and inhaling, step the palms back towards the feet, slowly coming into forward fold. Keep the knees as bent as you like. Fold the arms in front of the body, letting the arms and head hang loosely in front of you. Make sure the weight is evenly placed on both feet. If this is easy for you, you can straighten your knees Bring your feet together and wrap your arms around your legs, gently drawing the forehead towards them. Release the palms. Extend the arms out in front. Bend the knees deeply. Tighten the tummy muscles, inhaling, Leave the buttocks where they are, reaching the head, chest, and arms up towards the sky. Tilt the tail underneath you. Try not to let the knees cave in to one another. Keep the chest lifted. Breathe deeply. Inhale, extending up to your full height. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, lowering them by your sides, coming into mountain. Take a few breaths here, allowing the heart and breath to settle. Turn sideways on the mat and take a wide stance. Your stance should be at least as wide as one of your own legs. If you're flexible, you can go deeper. Turn your right toes out to the right. Pigeon toe your left foot and bring your chest back to center. Inhaling, sweep the arms out to the side with open palms and exhaling, flip the palms over, feeling the shoulder blades squeeze down the back. Look over your right fingertips. Reach forward, extending the left hip back and then gently lower the palm down to the leg, reaching the left arm up to the sky. You can look up if your neck is strong. Think of opening the chest towards the ceiling. The right hand on your leg is there mostly for balance. You shouldn't be putting a lot of pressure there. Tighten the oblique abdominals and inhale, bringing yourself back up to center. Exhale, lower the palms. Square your feet to the side of your mat. Extend the arms out to the side. And exhaling, bow forward at the hip, coming into airplane. Keep the chin tucked. The back is flat. You need only come halfway. Looking out of your peripheral vision, you should be able to see your fingertips. Keep the weight evenly placed on both feet. Exhaling, lower both palms to the ground. If you need to, use a block. If you're more flexible, you can bend the elbows and walk the palms back in between the legs, placing your head on the floor.
inhaling. Walk your palms back to the center. If you're tired, bring your palms to your hips. If you still have lots of energy, extend the palms back into the airplane posture. Tighten the tummy and inhale, coming up with a flat back. Exhale, lowering the palms. Turn the left toes left, pigeon toe the right foot, and bring the chest back to the front. Inhaling, opening the palms out to the side, and exhaling, flipping the palms over, squeezing the shoulder blades. Gaze over the left fingers. Exhaling, reach as far forward as you can, sending the right hip back, and then release the palm to the leg, right arm reaching up to the sky. Tighten the tummy muscles, inhaling, bring yourself back to center. Exhale, lower the palms. Once again, square your feet to the front of the mat, extending the arms out to the sides, and exhaling, folding on again at the hip. Keep the tummy tight to support the back. Exhaling, lower the palms down to the ground. Remember to use a block if you have difficulty reaching. Take your right hand, placing it on the ground, underneath your nose with the fingers pointing left. Inhale, sweeping the left arm up to the side, following it with your gaze if your neck is strong. Try to create one long line from wrist to fingertip. Exhale, lower the left palm, switch places with your hands, and inhale, sweeping the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the right arm down to the ground. Once again, if you're tired, bring your hands to your hips. If you still have energy, extend the arms out at the shoulders, tighten the tummy, and inhale, coming up with a flat back. Exhale, lower the palms. Turn both toes out approximately 45 degrees. Make sure the pelvis is underneath the body and not tilted back. Inhale, sweeping the arms out to the side, and bend them at the elbow, flat palms facing front. Don't flex your wrists. Inhale, and then exhale, bending slightly at the knees. Try to ensure that the knees stay over the ankles, the tail tucked underneath you. Tighten the muscles in the upper chest so that the arms are firm. If this is easy for you, you can go as deeply into the bend as you wish. Inhale, coming up, reaching the arms for the sky. Exhale, bring the arms to the shoulder and reach out to the sides. Lower the palms down. Bend the right knee and inhale springing the right foot to the left. We'll now begin a breathing exercise called Breath of Joy. Begin by making sure you have enough room. Bend your knees slightly, making sure you won't hit anything. We'll demonstrate this posture first. Breath of Joy is three breaths, taken with the arms coming forward into the side and finishing in a slight crouch position. 
Inhaling with the arms up to the side and then forward. Coming down, we exhale with a ha. To finish, we go into forward fold. As you perform breath of joy, ensure you are making one continuous breath in three parts rather than three separate breaths with exhales. When you do exhale, ha loudly, allowing tension to escape from the body. Go at your own pace, and if you feel dizzy, stop and come to child's pose. Make sure the knees are slightly bent. Inhale, arms forward, up and down. Bring yourself to forward fold, letting the head and arms rest down. Gently release the palms, letting them dangle. Keep the knees bent, and as you inhale, slowly ragdoll yourself up to standing. Try to take three full breaths to come up. Keep the arms and head relaxed. Straighten your knees as your hands pass them, stacking one vertebra on top of the next. As you lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and down. Head comes up last. Take a moment to stand in mountain. We'll now prepare for relaxation. For this relaxation, it will require a small, smooth stone that should fit easily into the palm of your hand. Place the stone into the hand that you do not use to write with. And then settle yourself down for Shavasana. Loosen your hair, take off your glasses, and lay back on the ground. Tilt the pelvis up to let the low back settle down. Allow the knees to open slightly, toes flopping open. Send the arms out to the side with the stone in one hand. Try not to allow your awareness of the stone to wander. Remember that though the stone is small, has no voice, and no power. It has been here for millions of years. It will continue to be here for another million years. It has stood the test of time in all adversity. Like the stone, you will withstand all things by remaining calm and staying present. Give your body permission to relax. And if your mind wanders, bring your attention back to the stone. Bring your attention back to the present moment. Squeeze the stone and let it fall from your hands. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently turn your head from side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. 
and rock on your back from side to side. Allow the head and neck to relax. Bring your head and knees to center, tighten your tummy, inhale, and as you exhale, bring the forehead up to the knees, keep the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, releasing the head to the ground, release the knees and extend your legs. Extend your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in and stretch, pointing your toes and reaching up with the fingers. Release with a sigh. Take another deep breath in and stretch again, this time flexing the feet up towards the head. Release with a sigh. Gently roll to one side and rest for a moment in the fetal position. Then gently use your palms to help bring you up into sitting. You may find it helpful to sit in quiet meditation for a period of time. Namaste.